What's good with the YouTube family, man? I'm sending y'all the measurable peace, the measurable love, and the measurable life for synergy. And I just wanted to um, let y'all know, um, as I was editing this video, I, f I realized I forgot to mention a few things. But when, like, as I'm as I'm blessing my food, I'm showing y'all in this video not only how I pray over my food, how I bless my food with my sage. Um, this is actually, I, I wanted to tell y'all exactly why I'm blessing my food, because a lot of people... They, they may say they grace however they say grace and don't really know why like you know or don't really put too much meaning into it and um and um i just wanted to let y'all know actually why i bless my food really why anybody should bless their food not only because the uh, chemicals that we all know the pesticides that we all know that they spray on the food i mean it's been scientifically proven this this logic at that night it used to be secretive but now it's, it's, it's logic you know what I'm saying? we know they actually spraying chemicals on the food but it's not only just that because you can wash those chemicals off you know what i'm saying however you wash them off like you work vinegar and baking soda however you do it but um also it's important to bless your food you know pray over your food i use sage and i call them my garden angels sending masters ancestors higher selves you know it's the universe you know creators you know the sun anyways but not only that like you got to worry about people when, when you buy your food especially if you a, a vegan a vegetarian like me and you picking up these fruits do, do you know that when you pick their fruit up you don't know how many other people that pick their fruit up and those people that pick fruit up you know we all know energy don't die it's transmuted it's transferred you can't kill energy that's why they say we don't die we multiply you know what I'm saying? That go for a certain ethnic group because you can't kill energy. It's only transferred. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, that's what it's the point of reincarnation. You know what I'm saying? All of that. It goes with all of that. But right now I'm trying to stick to food. So you don't know how many people picking up that food, that, that potato or that, that tomato or that um, that onion like you don't or that coconut. You don't know how many people that's touched it before you touched it. And and like you never know what type of energy that be surrounded inside these people that that touch your food before you put your food in your bag and buy it. You know what I'm saying? It can be evil people, it can be wicked people or negative people, people that's always angry, or people that's always just lustful. And so when you buy that food and you eat that food just how it is without blessing it or gracing it, not only are you consuming those chemicals and those those um pesticides especially if you don't wash it, but you're also consuming that negative energy that's been transferred onto that fruit or that vegetable. You're consuming all of that lust, all of that anger. You know what I'm saying? And that's not the point of eating fruit. We eat fruit for life. We, we, we eat fruit. It's the opposite of death. Fruit are actually living. It's the reason why fruit ripens, even when it's peeled off the tree. Look at a banana. A banana actually changes. It, it actually it gets old after you pick it. It's like that with all animals, apples. They don't stay good for long. They get old. So we're eating life. You know, that's the whole point of eating fruit. That's the whole point of being a, a vegetarian, a spiritual vegetarian. You know what I'm saying? Because we eat life. We don't eat death. You know what I'm saying? When you're eating meat, you wonder why you're mad and, or why you just feel so upset all the time. And it's coming from that negative energy that you're consuming in your body. Not only because of you not blessing your food and re removing it of negative energy and transmuting because like we said, energy don't die. It's only transmuted. So you got to take that negative energy and you transmute it into positive life force energy. So you, you're not only removing the negative energy. After you remove the negative energy, you got to transmute it into positive light force energy. And that's that's when the food is consumable now at this point. It's going to feed you mentally, physically, and spiritually. And not just physically. But anyways, as I continue with the video. Let me show y'all. Oh, wait a minute, can I zoom out? Right. Let me show y'all how I pray over my food, how I um enlightening my food. Basically, how I pray over my food with my sage to my guardian angels, spirit guides, the center masters, and ancestors. I'm let y'all know they don't like this. You should see how I be hearing them talking. You know what I'm saying they be trying to make it seem like I'm talking to myself when I do this. But we're gonna show y'all how it's done, how you cleansing your food from any negative energies, negative entities, negative spirits, or toxins, or poisons, or parasites, even. And yeah, you clean it with water, but you also clean it with, with your spirit too. Anyways, this is some white sage. I love white sage. I 
calling all of my guardian angels, spirit guides, ascended masters, ancestors, my higher self, Kanum, the sun, the universe. And I, with the powers invested in me, my guardian angels, spirit guides, ascended masters, and ancestors, my higher self, Kanum, the sun, the universe. I rebuke, reject, and banish any and all negative energies, negative entities, negative spirits, dark energies, dark entities, or dark spirits that may be latched upon this coconut, or they may have been casted upon this coconut. It means to hurt or harm me mentally, physically, or spiritually. For I am light. I am love. I am everything that is natural, and everything that is natural is me. And I am connected to the divine all, and the divine all is connected to me. For I am one with nature. I am one with the insects. I am one with the universe. I am one with the stars, the sun. Anyways, this is how you do it. This is how you re reverse or reject and banish any spells or any. But like I said in the last video, I explained how neg negative energy can be transferred to your food. So I'm going to show you how to how to get that right before you consume it. Let me show you how to do it, man. This is that white sage. Most powerful sage there is. I call on all of my guardian angels, spirit guides, ascended masters, ancestors, my higher self, Kanum, the sun, the universe. And with the powers invested in me, my guardian angels, spirit guides, ascended masters, and ancestors, my higher self, Kanum, the sun, the universe. I ask that through this white sage that you cleanse in this coconut from any and all negative energies, negative entities, negative spirits, dark energies, dark entities, or dark spirits, or spells, or toxins, or poisons, or parasites that may be latched onto this coconut, or they may have been casted upon this coconut. It means to hurt or harm me mentally, physically, or spiritually. For I am light, I am love, I am everything that is natural, and everything that is natural is me. And I am connected to the divine all, and the divine all is connected to me. For I am one with nature, I am one with the insects, I am one with the plants, I am one with the sun, I am one with the stars, I am one with my higher self, Kanum. I am one with my guardian angels, spirit guides, ascended masters, and ancestors. I call on my guardian angels, spirit guides, ascended masters, and ancestors, my higher self, Kanum, the sun, the universe. And with the powers invested in me, my guardian angels, spirit guides, ascended masters, my higher self, Kanum, the sun, the universe. I channel and transmute nothing but positive light force energy, solar light force energy, universal life force energy, and cosmic love force energy, ether nine force energy onto this coconut, inside this coconut, so that as this sage smoke disappears, any and all negative energies, Negative entities, negative spirits, dark energies, dark entities or dark spirits shall disappear with it and instantly be transmuted into positive life force energy, solar life force energy, universal life force energy and cosmic love force energy. For I am light. I am love. I am everything that is natural and everything that is natural is me. And I am connected to the divine all, the universe. And the, the divine all, the universe is connected to me. For I am one with nature. I am one with my higher self, Kanum. I am one with the universe. I am one with the sun. I am one with the stars. I am one with the earth, the insects, the animals. That's how you do it, boy. They don't like that. They can't take that at all. They get the shaking <laughs> when they hear that. You feel me? But anyways, man, as you go to show y'all, I was just showing. Wait. But anyways, man, I hope y'all took, I hope y'all got some knowledge and took heed and gained some type of um clarity information from that. And I hope y'all use it. You know what I'm saying? I hope y'all bless your food and, and, and um say y'all grace with more effort and more, you know, um more intent, you know what I'm saying? Because the way we say it, it's like, you know, it's, it's not doing nothing with, with the way we do it. Well, the way we was raised to do it. You just, it ain't doing nothing. You know what I'm saying? You ain't saying grace. You ain't showing you really grateful. You got to put intent. You got to put intent on your, on your, um anything you do, especially when it comes to the creator, especially when it comes to the true creator, you know what I'm saying? But I hope y'all gain some knowledge. And on top of that, if you if you notice how I did that three times, the first time I was cleansing it, I was um I was I was ridding it from any negative energies, negative entities, or any anything that would could hurt me mentally, physically or spiritually. This the third time of the third phase of the smudging was me um replenishing it, you know what I'm saying? Replenishing it with my energy. The third time was me infusing it with tra and transmuting positive light force energy. You know, solar light force energy directly from the source. You know what I'm saying? The universe. And so, yeah, man, it's, it's three phase. You can do more than three phase, but I try to at least do three. You know what I'm saying? I at least do at least three to every item I get. 
And I do this every time I buy food, every time any food I buy before I eat, I do this. I do this to my area, my tent. As you see, I'm doing all this in my tent. You know what I'm saying? So even when I leave and come back to my tent, I do the same thing. I make sure that my tent is infused with nothing but positive energy. I make sure I rid it of any negative energies, you know what I'm saying, with the sage. And, man, you should see how people would act up, man, behind the scenes. But, um, but yeah, man, it's powerful, man. It, it does a lot, man. The sage is not just uh, – it's a it's an herb, but it's a, it's a spiritual herb. Just like every herb is powerful, not just sage, oregano, cilantro. All of these are powerful herbs and um, different purposes, too. Even even rosemary, you can smudge rosemary. It all got a different purpose. You know what I'm saying? And um, you can look those up online. Google will tell you it. So, you know, yeah, man, it's more than just a belief. If, if you know, Google will tell you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, um, yeah, man, I wish y'all immeasurable peace, immeasurable love, and immeasurable life force energy, man.